Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today we're talking about our top five deck demo tools. So some of them are specialty uh, deck board rippers. Others are just pry bars, but I'm gonna show you what we use and how we use them. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Hit that bell icon if you wanna be notified every time we're putting out fresh content. All right, so the first two I'm gonna show you are deck specific. They have been designed for the deck industry. Uh, the first one is by Green Tech Tools called Demo Deck. And basically, it's a leverage style um, bar. This one, you don't need the joist to use it. You just put this, slide this under the decking and then you pry this way or this way. And it works good on a two by four, two by six, five quarter, five quarter by six. Very well, it also has a built-in nail puller, which we never use. Um, probably because we didn't realize it was there until right now. They seem like a pretty reasonable tool. They're not that expensive. Um, great leverage and it's one way uh, depending on how you rip your deck apart if you start from the outside and work your way in towards the house that's usually what we do especially on high decks because it's more stable as you get closer to the house especially once you start tearing the decking off um, another tool we use in conjunction i believe this one is called the deck wrecker uh, but we've used it so much it's uh worn off the logo and everything. Uh, the deck wrecker is again a leverage tool, but this one you have to use over the top of a joist or a beam. It has enough clearance that you can get over a four by, but normally it's a two by. And what you do is you slide it under and then you pry back and it comes off. Now they have this um, little pin that comes off, which we put these, we, we actually engineered our own special little wires. <laughs> The, these little um, pieces right here kept coming off. So you can actually pull this pin and, and pull this and move, it, uh, move this part around. So it changes your leverage angle, which is kind of cool. Uh, if you're really up close to the house, you can turn it one way. And if you want more leverage, you can spin this the head around and get a different angle so that the bar is turned uh, 180 degrees from this way. So it gives you more leverage when you're yanking the tool. So I think we've just kind of put them in one mode. Um, I'm not gonna sit here and tear this apart because then on our next demo, we're gonna have to screw with it again uh, to get it the way we like it. This usually pops out, this can spin around. Cool tool, you can probably find it online somewhere. Another type of pry bar we use is just a standard J pry bar. Uh, this one has a, uh, a severe hook and a nail puller. So this one works really good for pulling nails, really easy, because it has a, a big fulcrum on it, a tight fulcrum, which allows you to get a lot of leverage on it. I actually shaved the head down on this. Uh, you can kind of see from the side. I've kind of shaved it down uh, so I could get it uh, in, a, in between deck board cracks a little bit easier. So maybe in a particular instance I was in, I, I shaved it down with a belt sander. Uh, and. I, you know, I've had this thing for 20 years, but it just works so good, you know, that you only need to buy one once unless you really do some damage with it. And then another style or version of that, I call this a banana bar. You can usually buy these in packs, like a three pack. Sometimes you can get them at like the Home Center, Home Depot, Lowe's. Um, I think I bought these at Costco about 15, 20 years ago. Uh, again, it's one of those tools that you always have. Not so much the pry bar this way, but this one works really good as with a lever action when if you need to like pry up from the over the top of a joist and pop something so like if this is a joist right here and you get this on your deck board and then you use the joist as your fulcrum boom pops the deck board um works pretty good for popping old ledgers off of the house we also use a rock bar a lot as a pry bar too um, that'll be your little bonus feature there is a standard rock bar with a flat edge That's normally what we use to rip a lot of ledgers off homes. Because even though the entire deck could be rotten as long as there's an eave on the side of the house That ledger board down here is still going to be in pretty good shape and you know um, Back in the 70s It was extremely popular in the Pacific Northwest to see how many nails you could put in a ledger board when you put it on the side of the house so uh, I've I've posted photos in the past um, we've had like 150 nails in like a 20 foot ledger before just in a ridiculous amount of nails but all those nails are galvanized and the galvanizing really sets in and connects to the inside of the uh, outside rim joist of the house 
and it's really hard to pry that off sometimes. So uh, something with a lot of leverage, like a uh, digging bar, can go a long way to getting that off. So that's what we use that. My last uh, pry bar is more of a system. It's not a single bar, and I bought this several years ago. I'm not even sure if these are available still. Um, I meant to check online before I shot this video, but you know, time constraints, whatever, laziness, whatever you wanna call it. This is called the Artillery Pry Bar System, okay? So, uh, so this has made it to our job site, and then it's been thrown back into the shop, but I think it's a really cool system to have. Uh, it takes up a little bit of room. It has some forks that go over the joists. Look at, then there's also a nail puller on each side of this pry bar. Now this whole system's cool because it has to do with levers, cams, and you can kind of build the pry bar that you want with it. So I can use these, see it comes with the screws, comes with the screwdriver. Uh, it's all part of the system. It's kind of like an erector set where you kind of decide what kind of leverage you want. And the, the cams and the levers are kind of cool because you can use them a couple different ways. Uh, this one, you can actually run the, the bar this way and create a fulcrum for severe leverage. But let's say you don't want to do it that. You, you're trying to maybe use a, like a hand maneuver where you're not trying to get so much fulcrum. So then you have one that screws through the back that gives you a different kind of a prying uh, ability. So here's one with the piece still on with all three screws in it. So it's a complete modular system. You can um, use it. I've used these like when I'm trying to get up hot tubs off the slab, things like that, where I don't have a lot of height. Okay. And then this fits in nice and tight and you get the leverage you need to get something underneath there to start jacking up your tub or whatever. Um, comes with a crescent wrench and some different bolts. Uh, and lots of different, you know, if you understand leverage, you can make some really cool pryable parts with this kit. Um, I actually bought a couple extra pieces so that we could have two guys prying that if we needed to, or if we need to make a couple extra, there's some also like tongues, different uh, types of, like, I don't know. That's kind of cool. Oh, maybe for wire or something? I don't know. I, never, I don't think I've ever used that part, but uh, it's cool. And then there's also like a ball end. So if you're, if you're um, doing a lot of certain type of prying, you can screw this on the end of this and you can actually create a longer fulcrum or more leverage. And then you have this ball end that you put on. So you're pushing on this instead of on the bar, just a little bit more for, for comfort or whatever. And then there's also some just standard wedge pry bars with a nail puller in the middle. If you got a lot of nails to pull, uh, kind of cool and this other cam lever action stuff. So I don't even know what those do. Kind of a cool system. If, if you're into components, I'll keep it at the shop. I actually do use this in my shop. So, and it all goes back neatly in its case. Maybe we'll do a quick search and see if we can locate a webpage for these guys, if they're still available. And then for some reason, oh, okay. So then, I, so this company did sell me additional parts because I do have this extra prying handle that does not fit in this case so surprising i still have it but that's great okay so there you go so that is our top five prying mechanisms or pry bars that we use for demo for demolition for deck demolition and for leverage so if you like what you saw please click that subscribe button uh hit the bell icon if you want to be notified of future updates and leave some comments below if you have any questions or concern or uh, just let me know how we're doing out there. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.